Google Apps for your domain was launched back in 2006 and then rebranded in 2016 to be known as G Suite, which again was rebranded last year in October as Google Workspace. So what is Google Workspace? Before we get started, here's the table of contents. I'll leave timestamp descriptions, just go ahead and click on them if you'd like to skip to a specific part. Also, if you have any trouble understanding what I'm saying, make sure to go and hit the closed captions button as well. And hopefully I've done the captions by the time you're watching this video, so they'll be available for you. To really understand everything that Workspace provides, we need to split it into three sections, cloud computing, productivity, and collaboration. The cloud computing aspect basically ensures that you don't have to maintain and manage any physical infrastructure to run the suite of products and services that Google Workspace provides. All the servers and resources responsible for providing you those apps and services are all kept in various data centers that's managed by Google. And therefore, Google Workspace is what we now call as a software as a service or a SaaS platform, just like Microsoft 365. The productivity aspect of Google Workspace refers to the apps that come with the platform. That includes Gmail for your email needs, Google Drive for your cloud storage, Google Meet for web conferencing, Google Docs for word processing, Sheets for spreadsheets, Slides for presentations, and there's a ton more apps, but these are the main ones that a lot of people look for. And we'll talk about all the other Google apps on a separate video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Finally, the collaboration aspect ensures that you can work with your colleagues, even with people external to your organization, depending on the permissions that have been granted. You can work on Google Docs, Slides, and Sheets all in real time, and everything is constantly saving in the background as well. So you never have to worry about losing progress. Definitely a huge upside when working in the cloud. You can even make comments, suggest edits. You can use Google Chat to chat with your team, Google Meet for video conferencing with 100 participants or more, and even live stream 100,000 people. Granted, some of these features are not available in every single plan, and we'll discuss plans and subscriptions soon. But first, let's talk about some of the main features that Workspace provides that's available for every single plan. We talked about the apps, and every plan includes all the crucial apps, so you don't have to worry about losing out on anything major. Every plan also comes with at least the basic security measures like multi-factor authentication, phishing, and spam protection, at least basic endpoint protection, and what Google calls the advanced protection program that will help you implement additional security measures for your most crucial and at-risk accounts. But one of the main features that make Google Workspace what it is, is the ability to have custom domain names. So what are custom domain names? Let's say you have a business called Tech with Sean and a website called TWS.com. What you can do is allow yourself and all your employees to use it as their mail address. Therefore, if I was to log in or someone were to send mail instead of using Sean at gmail.com, they will use Sean at TWS.com. This instantly makes your business come off as more professional, credible, and it helps you build your brand image and recognition as well. Google Workspace also comes with the ability for your organization's administrator to manage all your users from a single console or dashboard. They can manage security from that console, add users, delete users, reset passwords, manage user endpoints, and set policies for those devices, as well as receive insights and reports on activity in your domain so that you can catch things like anomalies or suspicious activities. They can also download the mobile admin app to give them most of these capabilities on the go. Google Workspace is completely on the cloud, so don't expect any desktop or offline applications. There are extensions that allow this, but it is not as reliable as it should be. Workspace is mainly for the cloud and usually everything must be done with an active internet connection. With that being said, let's also discuss support because I'm going to be bringing it up when I speak about the plans. You get three support packages. The standard support available 24-7 for priority one or P1 cases and a four hour service level objective or SLO. What this means is that support may take up to four hours to get back to you and the support will be provided for key elements that have been outlined in the service level agreement or SLA. If you want to read the SLA, I'll leave a link in the description below. With enhanced support, you get 24 seven support for P1 and P2 cases. You can contact technical experts and you even have third party technology support. Premium support is, well, it gives you all these features. I don't wanna waste your time by reading each one of them out, but essentially you get a 15 minute response time. Your own technical account manager to handle your cases, trainings, technical experts, and 24 seven support on P1, P2, and P3 cases. With that out of the way, let's finally get into the plans. Remember, when I mention the prices, they may differ depending on your country, since Google tends to run discounts based on geographical locations. So head over to the Google plan page to find out exactly the price you will be charged. First, we have the business starter plan, which is the cheapest plan you can get. It costs six US dollars a month per user, comes with, unfortunately, a measly 30 gigabytes of cloud storage per user on your Google Drive. You can meet up to 100 participants on Google Meet, which is more than enough for a small business, I think, and you get standard support. 
you're not able to upgrade your support so make sure you're okay with that security wise you get all the basic security measures mentioned earlier second we have the business standard that goes for 12 us dollars a month per user you get two terabytes of cloud storage massive upgrade from the starter plan you also get shared drive storage you can have up to 150 participants on google meet and also have the option to record your meetings have breakout rooms and polls. You only get standard support, but you can pay to upgrade to enhance support if you need it. Those are basically the only differences from the starter package. Security wise, you get all the same features. And in terms of apps, there's very small features here and there that you might want to look into. I'll put the links for the plans in the description. The Business Plus plan, which is 18 US dollars a month per user, gives you a massive five terabytes of storage. You can have up to 250 participants for Google Meet. You have recordings as well as the ability to track attendance. In addition to that, you get vault features such as e-discovery and retention. E-discovery helps you find information in an electronic format, which will be of immense help during legal proceedings or investigations. Retention allows you to preserve data so that even if the data were to be deleted by the user, it will still be available for you if you need to look into any of these deleted data. Also very helpful in investigations in cases where data is accidentally lost. You get secure LDAP so that you can connect your LDAP based applications to Google Workspace and also advanced endpoint management features. I'll put a link in the description for the endpoint management features. So go check that out as well. Support wise, you get standard support and you can upgrade to enhanced support. Finally, we have the enterprise edition where there is no fixed price. You do need to contact the sales team to find out a custom tailored price for your business. But with the enterprise edition, you're basically able to get everything we discussed earlier, plus all the other features that Workspace has to provide. You can get as much storage as you require, up to 250 participants on Google Meet. In addition to attendance and records, you get noise cancellation. Kind of lame that you have to get enterprise for that, but oh well. You also get the live streaming feature for up to 100,000 people within your domain. Security wise, you get data loss prevention to protect yourself from insider threats or accidental data leaks. You get enterprise endpoint management features, you get context aware access, similar to conditional access on Microsoft 365. You get AppSheet, which is a low and no code app development platform like Hover Apps on Microsoft 365. Support wise, you get out of the box enhanced support, which can be upgraded to premium support by paying extra. Now I haven't stated every single difference. As I said earlier, there are small differences in the apps and as well as some additional security features in the enterprise edition. I've just highlighted the most important one, so make sure to check the plans pages on Google Workspace if you would like to know what those are. In terms of payment plans, you have the flexible plan which lets you purchase without any contractual commitment, but you are billed monthly. Cancelling will only have you pay for the amount of time you use, such as if you only used it for one and a half months, you'll only be charged for one and a half months. The annual plan or the fixed term plan has you committed for a year, but you can choose whether you want to be billed monthly or annually. Now the business plans don't really allow you to opt for the fixed or annual plan, but you can contact the sales team and ask them to put you on that plan if you really require it. If you're interested in Google Workspace, there's a 14 day trial that you can check out and cancel anytime with no payment incurred. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you genuinely found this helpful. Comment what you'd like to see from me in the future and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.